Yeah, we were just talking about horrible movies that come on uh, the Sci-Fi Channel. The Sci-Fi original movies are so utterly bad. The special <laughs> effects are terrible. Is Debbie Gibson in that? Was yeah, that Debbie Lorenzo Gibson? Llamas and there's Mega Shark. Mega Shark versus what? The name of the movie is called Giant Octopus versus Mega Shark. They couldn't even give Giant Octopus a cool name. They just called it Giant Octopus versus Mega Shark. Versus at least Mega Shark is. And you know cool. what? Here's the great thing about sci-fi. If they, if they have an all-day theme, it'll be it'll be oh. 20 movies, but it'll all be this. <laughs> you got Spring Break Shark Frenzy. You got this. this. You gotta okay. see what happens to the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Shark jumps out of the water and bites his head. <laughs> Mega Shark is biting the Golden Gate Bridge. Mega Shark is giant. Because mm. uh, I asked, because Patrice said Mega Shark jumps out of the water and eats a passenger jet. And I'm like, how can a shark fucking yeah, get that uh, high up? He meant the shark, man. And the dude looked out the window and said, oh, shh. And the shush was, you know, the it was cut yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Please fasten your seatbelt. Holy shit! How did Mega Shark get it? Mega Shark is the shit. <laughs> well, what about John? Oh, giant octopus, octopus has got shit out there. Don't fuck around with giant octopus either. Deborah Gibson. Yes, Debbie Gibson's in that. Oh, I just bit a you know fucking what? destroyer. Octopus wins every time. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, fuck, I'm sorry, dude. You saw the guy looking out the plane window, uh, the mega shark. Every I got Saturday, if I'm not fucking working, I got this. I'm watching the sci-fi original programming. Uh, I'm running from uh, genericshow.com, right? Uh, Opie, the company that makes this also makes the movies that rip off blockbuster movies, like Patrice was saying. Oh, the company made Transmorphers. Transmorphers? <laughs> I'm telling a rip off. If you, and they do part twos of movies that were oh, good. right, and to completely fuck them up. You think some of these big stars, they get uh, cast for these movies, like, oh, fuck, the concept's great. It's fucking and shark. And realize what and it then, is. And they do all their acting, because they can't see the special effects and then they finally see it for the first time and go holy shit i'm in a piece of it it's like yeah we're gonna green screen you in over right, here right. just uh look look up here like and they're probably picturing these effects are gonna look like fucking they're amazing they're all thinking jurassic park like, like they, they, yeah, yeah. The oh, like they shit, don't movie. know that the movie i That's think that saying. do they know if the movie is gonna it's be going right to sci-fi do you think they have a great place i bet you they're thinking State of the art special okay. effects. This is it. Yeah, this, this, this is your script, big Next thing you know, they show a big giant shark uh, uh, biting the the uh, golden <laughs> bird. <laughs> you're like, oh, it's all in your family. I'm apologizing. <laughs> if I get a script, right? <laughs> if, <laughs> if I get a script and the script says giant <laughs> octopus versus <laughs> mega shark, versus I gotta know it stinks. I would say it's better Why? be the working title, motherfucker. <laughs> Think some of the other crazy movies out there that ended up becoming no, I could have seen the fucked up titles. <laughs> Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. That's a fucking shitty movie. What about when Jurassic Park? Eight? That's a great tip with the fucking name. That's a great name before you know that the movie was going to be Hindsight 2020? No, Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jurassic Park is a Park. great name. Nah, no, Jurassic Park is good, yeah. Yeah. Because the sci-fi movies were named it Dinosaur Forest. <laughs> All right. You know what? <laughs> Jurassic Park movie. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, They're bottom line fuck, people, man. Fuck, bottom line. The other ones. Sci-fi. I was just gonna go with basic shit like Godzilla, King Kong, but well, uh, those, those yeah, are shit movies know, anyway. Uh, you gotta think of like um some good sci-fi's. Danny, Danny you know some good sci-fi's. Yeah, you must know some sci-fi. Sci no, a movie that became huge, but if you looked at the title, and then Patricia will explain why the title was always great and how it would well, be Jaws. How about like Star yeah, yeah. Jaws? He's got the teeth. <laughs> Just teeth. What would uh, uh I wait wait let me tell you something. There's a movie that they have yeah. about evil evil attacking fucking birds. You know what it's called? Call. <laughs> call. No call. Right, what would right. what would sci-fi call 
close encounters of the third kind. Oh. All right, thank oh, you. I got one. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Alien Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good name. The other story we were talking about as Ecstasy of Gold was playing was uh, good old Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> executed the oldest inmate there in California. What was the guy deaf, dumb, and blind or something? <laughs> God took care. God gave him a death sentence. Fucking man. guys on death row playing uh, pinball and fucking Arnie comes in and kills him. Uh, governor, governor, uh, let him off the hook or anything. No! Kill him! I... <laughs> He was like uh, some badass motherfucker though back in the day, right? There he is. He's over watching him up on television. I have to We gotta get some clips of our sports today if you guys are listening in the back. Well, everyone thought, I guess, you know, a Hollywood guy ended uh, with the first case where he was able to uh, get the opportunity to create the one to see uh, somebody who doesn't know what he's doing. And now he's just, ah, cook him. I can hear that. You can eat one soon, so fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, the whole crack. That's right, he's got two. Oh, yeah. Really close together. And they both begged him for forgiveness. Yeah, so he was like, he was like the last fucking guy. He was the last chance these guys had with all of his blood to make it. You know, you know, he probably enjoyed his movies and shit. I'm not fucking fed up. He's like, ah, it's a game. Like up 
Naruto rape. Like, they would take a, uh, a ass squeeze, <laughs> tit squeeze. They wouldn't cry about that shit. They'd that play. was nothing. It's like, you know, and then who, if they complain, be, they'd be complaining to a motherfucker that was just like Arnold. So right. like, you know what? Ah. Whatever. Hey, well, then stop wearing a skirt. <laughs> uh, and that was back when it was being Paul. Hey, yo. I'm walking to the guy you're supposed to complain to, and he's calling your money. Hey, honey, sit down there, sweetheart. Ah, he squeezed what? What he squeezed? Squeeze your ass. <laughs> Look at the way you dress yourself there, doll. <laughs> you got your stems poking out from that little skirt. You're an attractive girl. You can go far if you just give a little. <laughs> you know, they can fucking right out in the open. Oh, you got it. Step back. Oh, oh, oh. You know, we call this the good old days. Steiners came and it's just a fucking over. You don't fuck around. Now you can't even say hi. Have, he have was a good day. Up like roid roids, not not. And he admitted it. It wasn't like no. these new these new tricky roids. It was just like I'm gonna. Ah. So he's he's in in Brazil. Just and, and you know he got women trying to teach him different words and it's like um to the bed. He's over. <laughs>
Oh, you know, All right. Maybe in the top, he's a top five uh, uh, superstar of all time. He made movies. some badass movies. Even his bad ones are good. Arnold yeah. is, it was a string of bad 80s ones. The Running yep. Man, Commando, uh, 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 um, Predator. Commando. Commando's great. What's the one where uh, at the beginning he's playing with fucking uh, his daughter? Jenny. I, I, in the pool. Like, it's supposed to be this tender, sensitive moment with him and his daughter. And his daughter is, uh, what's her name from Who's the Boss? Oh, that's the man. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's so bad. It's a typical bad 80s movie because you're supposed to, they're supposed to show in a very limited time that he's got this close connection with his daughter because the action's got to start. So they can't, like, make this protracted long thing. So they do this montage of him and his daughter uh, eating ice cream. And she puts it on his nose, and he's like, ah, ah, ah. like that big stupid fun laugh of Arnold's with 80s music. Yeah, hey, bad we 80s gotta music. do it right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We gotta do exactly. it exactly. Yes. <laughs> and it just makes him look like a kid toucher. Uh, like it does. It's not this father daughter thing because she's taken by the bad guys, and you know he's got to get her back. But and they just want they want to uh, get this relationship down, but. Uh, not interfere with the accent. What's ten, ten minutes? I want fucking gunfire. And it's N. Uh, English. Yeah, the regular American name. Like, what's your dad? Ah, uh, Morris. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, John Winters. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, John Winters. Uh, <laughs> Everybody in his life is American. His uh, daughter is. Ah, uh, uh, William, William Burger. What? Is it? Yeah. Patrice is technically a friend, so. Yeah, it's, 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 
If you are still watching, I didn't see your thing till just now. I haven't changed it in a long time, and I was going through, uh, I can't remember what game I was looking for, but I knew it was a free game, and I saw that in PS Plus that I had bought this uh, George Takai picture a long ass time ago. So I just kind of threw it up there, if that's a good enough answer. Anyway, for the two that are still watching, please subscribe and share if you enjoyed what you watched today, Meet Family. Alright, see ya.